Hello my brothers and sisters. I'm just adjusting my tab so I'm being careful so it doesn't fall because my stand is broken. It's got no click secures. It just flops down. It broke within the first month I bought it too. Anyways. <clears throat> Good stand. It just doesn't lock to adjust your angle of preference of viewing. My tablet holder I'm talking about. If you're wondering what I'm talking about. All right. In this video here, I'm going to talk about basically your channel changing, stationing yourself to port, teleporting yourself to the Singularity Higher Light to Earth. And it's an easier calibration, but I highly suggest integrate everything you're going to uh, be introduced. Okay. I highly suggest that you write things down so you can recall it. Okay. It's going to take work to get out. It's going to take work. To maintain and sustain personified out until every being has been shifted to their own singularity satellites. It's happening, okay? It's happening. And there's going to be resistance from many beings because they can't comprehend, comprehend what is happening. But I'm going to state, you, state to you, my brothers and sisters, and to every being, the shift basically has already happened you're just being calibrated and tuned and directed stationed to your satellites your your reality is still going to seem the same but the greatest thing is it's going to be up to each individual being any being i'm talking to not just to the collective united independent codependent dependent whatever type of so-called being system it is you're all in your own satellites basically the shift is going to be has been modulated you're not going to realize when this shift happens. The only thing you're going to notice different is different energetic fields that they're going to be responding to your thoughts extremely fast. No matter what your thoughts are dark, you get a dark reality. Light personified harming somebody, you get harm to yourself. You want to create a better existence in your reality, then you get that back to yourself. Light or dark or medium, whatever choice that I'm speaking to everybody, whatever you choose to project manifest and create in your spheres is going to happen and sooner or later people will realize that um, their energetic states are different of energy so-called uh, conduction and charges and so-called yeah let's just leave it there everybody's infinitum singularity third eye satellites personified is going to be re-established has been re-established to a degree and it's phasing in now okay uh when i don't know the exact date when the signals like i stated cell towers and so-called cell communication wires are not going to be necessary for every being i'm talking about who and when they realize it is up to themselves i'm not disconnecting nobody okay i'm assisting the whole calibration of bringing this whole dimensional sector system with all layers and levels and overlays to be basically have the option have their singularity satellites to be in their singularity satellites basically their new homes or there let me just state, restate that our original homes and what any being does beyond that point is their choice i'm not going to disconnect somebody from the lower grid they're going to do it themselves when they're prepared it's not my business okay the other day i stated we're going to be disconnecting it let me restate that no i'm not disconnecting nothing everybody's going to have the choice either remain with the old signal and the old technology system or upgrade by your choice because you're already in the higher dimensional satellites now whether you realize it or not every being is Okay, it's going to be your choices to either upgrade with intent, with your intent, asking, asking my dog to switch you over to upgrade to the higher dimensional singularity operating system, basically to activate the higher functions of the satellites that everybody has had always. But now they are being so-called reintroduced because people may have forgotten how to do the process and they're going to be assisted by higher dimensional beings or beings have been locked up by other dimensional beings so they can't access their satellites now i'm going to state this everybody is in their higher dimensional singularity satellites what you're going to do with them how you're going to access them modify them and adjustment whether you're going to truly decide to be uh, united and independent with source to be basically wireless technology technological technologies like beyond so-called having to have an emissions period is your choice not my choice all right so basically it is now up to each individual what they're going to modulate with their satellites and it's going to happen different for every being okay 
and in the last days, when, let me restate that, not the last days, as the energies increase more, Source shall be talking to every being in existence, extremely so-called potently the translations of higher dimensional singularity beings shall be being translated to many, to every being in existence, everyone and everything shall be communicating directly with Source. How they're going to be responding is their choice. Okay. And like I stated, some beings will transition more quickly into the singularity than others, but eventually everybody will shall go to the singularity because new energy shall be introduced, higher dimensional fields. And somebody who feels that energy is going to be like, wait a minute, what did I just do? And I'm feeling that. And then they're going to start questioning these dimensional energetic fields. And these dimensional energetic fields that are going to be phasing in and out are going to be speaking. So quite simply put, somebody goes into old behavior patterns of so-called, what is personified is uh, against the laws of source. They're going to feel their so-called, they're going to get a penalty and a symptom and a consequence. And there's going to be a, a clear translation from higher dimensional beings stating, yeah, the energies are changing. If you want to go back there, that's all that, there, that is there. Everybody's going to higher dimensional singularity. And like I stated, if people want to stay in the phasing out, not the phasing out channel, what is personified as the lower light old channel, well, they're going to be there. Okay. And when so how could I put this, okay, in a so-called receivable manner? Let's just put it this way. There's going to be two different dimensional fields. Your choice which one you're going to go to. Okay, You want to stay in the old earth? Go ahead, stay in the old earth all you want. Okay. Eventually, people are going to start uh, leaving the old earth and not returning. The population of the earth is going to dissipate, dissipate, dissipate of the old earth because many people, not many people, as time progresses, people shall leave and not return. The population basically souls and spirit programs are going to leave and they're not going to return because they're not going to want to return stating there's not going to be a necessity for people to birth more vessels to occupy soul software and hardware programs into the hardware the surrogates okay babies born are just surrogates my brothers and sisters hardware okay so the software that goes in, in there makes the being what they are their character okay so yeah in the future there's not going to be Eventually, there's not going to be many more people being born because there's not going to be the necessity of surrogates for to occupy software and hardware of different dimensional beings. Yeah, when I leave, I'm not returning. It is everybody's choice what they're going to do. Okay, and like I stated, eventually, uh, I guess the old Earth is going to shift into the higher dimensional singularity Earth. No matter how many people are remaining and occupied on it, and eventually it shall transition where nobody will know the difference that the new Earth has arrived, except there may be different planetary systems arriving, or maybe introduced different dimensional realms introduced that people can access, as in through portal technology, now allowing you to go to different dimensions. But you must be prepared to go to those dimensional travels. Because if I wasn't prepared and somebody said, you're going to go through a portal, here's the portal, it's your choice when to access it. I'd be like, if I wasn't ready, I'm like, I'm not going through no portal. I don't know what I'm, where I'm going. That means you're not prepared. But if, if a portal was available, it'll be your own portal gateways that open up anyways, okay? They shall not be accessible until you choose them to be accessible. So nobody's going to be forced to do the transition. It is at everybody's own pace. And I'm, and I'm stating this. The transition, some people may find it different than others, but it's going to happen. This is where I'm stating you're going to have to do your work. If you want to have personified be out of the dark matrix in the lingual transition of the higher dimensional fields and the lower dimensional fields, you're going to have to do your work because there is still a personified struggle for people to understand how to access their satellites. So they're going through the old learned behaviors, splicing to somebody else's satellite to hijack their reality to basically create their reality to get a better so-called personified existence of an energetic field. Okay. The hijacking is very real. The hijacking of your projection is very real. The hijacking, let me repeat that. The hijack, hijacking from your projector, your mind, your satellite, your third eye, the hijacking from your projector, your mind, the s satellite to the projection, your environment, your pro is very real and very dangerous for yourself if somebody is taking control of your computer it means they're going to modify your vessel here in the ascension matter singularity fluctuates fluctuating phases stating if somebody does a hijack splice and basically blocks your mind 
and inserts the dark mind, the lower light, and then projects that to your reality projection, your environment, digital, states you have just been shifted to the dark machine and you shall be tormented and many beings shall attempt to kill you, to harm you, okay, to put you through the extreme most tortures and torments. This video here is going to be the most important. I'm going to speak about teleporting and changing, channel changing at the end, not now, maybe two videos, okay. I don't know how you are, how many people are utilizing this information, but it's going to be how many is going to be, and that's how it's going to be, okay. Like I stated, I'm making these videos because I choose to make them to give the proper accurate information, okay. And I'm going to state this, you must integrate with what I'm going to represent here now, start doing the translation of what is happening exactly with the hijack of basically blocking your higher singularity mind, preventing you from getting to your projection, and then your projection, that is your mind, your computer, hijack, splice with a different signal, and now that signal bypasses your original singularity mind and basically makes the dark mind insertion, dark machine, and then emits a signal to your projection, bypassing completely your higher dimensional reality, creating a dark reality for yourself. I'm going to do a translation here, then there's going to be another video. I have a photo, a diagram and a photo, which I'm just going to narrate and speak on the diagram with basically antennas representing the two minds, the dark mind and your higher dimensional singularity matters mind and singularity's mind that are basically like two antennas. Okay, but okay yes I'm going to translate it here now okay you need to always integrate respecting everyone and everything as if you are speaking and in the presence of source always okay to never be turned dark you must stabilize two different fields also this point of view and perception and also integrate doing your spiritual work okay your calibrations clearings and modulations integrating what I'm going to state. It's going to be work, my brothers and sisters, until this is completed. There is no easy free ride for anybody. Everybody's going to have to do the work. There's going to be no uh, hijack splice going to somebody else's dimension that have done the work. It doesn't work like that, okay? Soon, everybody shall be in their satellites doing their own work, their choice, what they're going to do. Okay, you want to stay dark? Stay dark. You want to go to the higher light? Go to the higher light. You want to stay matter singularity slash fluctuation matter? In between the fields uh, fluctuating from singularity to matter or you want to go to the singularity higher light to earth it is your it is up to yourself you must do the work nobody's going to do the work for you this is a united independent journey uh, nobody can do it as a whole group and get in a free ticket ride because they all did the work together beings could assist each other but the initial work shall have to be done from the individual being with their satellite genuine work done Okay, utilizing higher dimensional singularity beings. You're going to notice when you start getting to the higher, getting to the higher dimensional fields, they're going to be really tightening, tightening your neck. Okay, really going for this region here, and this back region here, and these regions here of so-called arteries to constrict the flow to your mind, so you don't reach an extreme high state of energetic field where your energy is flowing without interference. They usually try to restrict the neck. It's called cutting off your head. Okay. In the future, this is mockery too. In the States, they had a video. In the future, if you didn't accept the mark of the beast, your head would be cut off. Well, what is the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast, accepting it, is to stay in the lower dimension earth so you do not progress. Basically, uh, abide and go by the laws of the old computer system, the old earth, the old dark earth. If you're going to abide by the higher dimensional singularity fields, this is where they stated Christians would have their heads cut off. Mo most beings have their heads cut off, okay? I have a lot of tightness and pressure in here because I can feel my arteries being squeezed because this is a transitional so-called type of struggle where people don't understand what's going to happen, okay? So they are still utilizing and basically are still violating other people's spheres by constricting their energetic flow to their mind to restrict high dimensional frequencies okay this is part of the plan too then once again this is all being allowed to happen because i assure you if all my functions were completely released right now i wouldn't be here in this dimensional field it would mess up the ascension and the towing of the other dimensional lower field from the higher field it would mess it up and not bring it into the higher dimensional field because when everything is almost released from myself fire trucks always go off the alarms stating 
we've lost our signal, we've lost our toe. Woo -woo. It's important to get my attention to get a signal again so the toe can continue. This ends sooner or later. Once I reach a certain dimensional field and the signal has been established, once I toe and yourselves too, my brothers and sisters, assist the lower dimensional fields to get to a certain stage of being towed, states they don't need the signal no more. Soon, soon as they hit being hit a certain dimensional field and everything is accomplished and established as the singularity signal, states every lower dimensional being now, like I stated prior in this video, is in their singularity satellite. And what they do from that point on is their choice basically stating the locks and blocks are off everybody has been liberated from the slave dark lower earth system everybody has been liberated to the personified free liberty singularity system free liberated singularity system what they're going to do with their satellites beyond that point it's not my business because i'm not going to have no more signal i'm not towing nobody beyond that point it's not going to be needed i don't make that decision source makes that decision when it arrives and it's going to arrive okay and from that point on it doesn't matter what any being or entity decides to do. If they still think they're siphoning energy from other beings, uh, I guess maybe they shall be in their, old, their own parallel singularity satellite now that has been established in the singularity. And there's going to be basically, how can I state this? The guidance, how it's going to be, is in accordance to how beings are going to be guided because as we head to the higher dimensional singularity fields as everybody is established in there there's still going to be two realities it depends what when a being chooses to do the work so there's going to be assistance yeah to a degree to assist the acceleration because stagnation is not so called so called gonna be too much of a stagnation process because sources are going to be talking loud to people because it is higher dimensional singularity beings now that have woken up in this personified restoration that are stating it's time for everybody to go home and it's time for everybody to do the work because for myself and other beings who have woken up, other beings stagnating the ascension process to get into the singularity is going to be their own responsibility because we're breaking off my brothers and sisters. I cannot wait anymore for lower dimensional beings to do what they're doing. It's not my business and I'm not intervening to, I'm, I am not, I have intervened with many other singularity beings to a certain point where beings are going to be brought into the higher dimensional fields. And once they are established in the personified singularity, higher light earth, having a choice to either stay in the dark, keep doing what you're doing or evolve, you know, go back to your original true home in the higher dimensional states of singularity. Okay. Once I, I once we have assisted and it is completed, I am, my responsibility here is done, okay? My work here is completed. The locks and blocks, the stagnation that was going to prevent and prevent people eternally from shifting to the higher dimensional fields, which was the plan of the dark so-called forces, the ones, the controllers, that is all removed, okay? Basically, it's gone. Once, though I hit that stage where I do not need the toe signal and they cannot get a signal anymore to myself, it is pointless for myself for myself to stay in the lower dimensional fields, I'm leaving. I need not be here no more to be stagnated in lower dimensional fields. Like I stated, I know where I'm from and I know where my true home is. And this is all, this is all, I am leaving this all, my brothers and sisters. It's not coming to an end. I am leaving on a certain date that this has been set for myself and appointed, okay? Teleportation, call it channel change and shifting. Yes, I'm going home. I need not be here anymore, my brothers and sisters, okay? Uh, from a certain point in region. How long? I don't know. One year, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I don't know. Okay. Maybe a couple of days, my brothers and sisters, maybe a split second after a certain region of a time with after a certain region of a resonance field of certain frequencies are achieved, then I go home. Okay. Like I stated, it is not uh, my duty to stay here any longer. Okay. I was going to say it is not fair, but no such thing as fair and not fair. Okay. Certain things need to be accomplished after they are accomplished. My, my so-called work is complete. I leave this dimensional plane. I go to my true resonance field and frequency that I know where my true home is from. It is at one of the levels of the singularity where I don't know exactly what level, but it is a quite a high position level rank that I've always had and attained through doing genuine work throughout my existence. Okay. I'm going to go through the calibration now of the hijack. It, it is of the most importance, okay? The hijack is of the most importance. I'm just thinking, should I? I'm probably going to get my drawing so to make more sense. Lately, okay, just, a, just about since last night, I've 
this information was revealed to myself or early in the morning okay it's one of the others time period and reference for myself time is just seems so such a long time ago when i learned i'm a translated higher dimensional so-called information about techniques what is happening how to calibrate even though it's a couple hours it seems like a thousand years my brothers and sisters time is accelerating so much for myself it is it is just accelerating that's all i'm going to state and um Lately, they've been trying to do major pain induction. But there's nothing left that the matrix can manipulate in my reality. They cannot suppress my so-called memory archives no more. They cannot make myself turn dark because the golden rule is treat everyone and everything. Perceive everyone and everything as if you are in the presence of source and talking to source. And give every, onto everyone and everything as you would like to be given. What you would like to attain, I would like to attain, is to go to the singularity highlight or three, then to the singularity, and also to have the maximum peak potential resonance singularity upgrades software and hardware. Give. Okay, the golden rule is preventing myself from shifting. Only, only I've been noticing is they've been attempting to tighten the squeeze on all my muscles. That's all that is left. The frequency of manipulating my reality to turn dark, to splice my projector, to give me major symptoms where I lose my memory cannot happen. I understand how to basically block the interference of the dark mind signal antenna of the lord dark earth that is splicing basically blocking my mind then taking over my mind's emitter and transmitter to my projection my environment and splicing it dark my being my flesh here is the projection from my projector okay once it they splice with the antennas means i'm in the dark machine and i'm really going to have all the symptoms that they used to make but myself understanding this they cannot even get myself to have static they cannot get myself to stutter my speech where it sticks no more because it is i've realized where their signal is coming from i do calibration and clearing first quick one then i'm going through the diagram i realized it is a signal with my intent and perception and awareness i do a calibration clearing i block their signal and with my intent and perception i re-establish my signal to my immediate environment that is re basically my mind the projector of the mind and the projection of the environment the digital environment are one and same in the same computer system so basically i block their signal with intent then i re-establish with my intent reconnecting my signal to my projection that is from my projector mind the mind and the projector one i re-establish that with intent at the same time continuously blocking their interference signal splice breach attempt they cannot get through my brothers and sisters this is what they've been doing okay i'm going to show you a diagram it is it is completed okay and at the same moment when you're blocking them you don't leave them in the dark you have to assist with the work they they don't know this is happening but it is happening they may even contemplate what i'm saying when i block them i just don't block them i am dimensionally shifting their signal to the singularity earth 3 in all their satellites stating as i'm blocking and not, not allowing them to get the connection they used to get they're going to the their singularity satellites the greatest thing about this is they probably don't know it's happening and cannot feel the different change. They probably think they're hooking up to my satellite because they're getting a connection. Yeah, see, we're not going to keep them in the dark, disconnected and alone. Okay, we are completing this process correctly. So basically, when I'm blocking him, I'm recalibrating my transmission, my emitter and transmitter from my mind, my satellite to my projector that is also unified and synchronized to my mind, my projection that is my vessel here. I'm gaining complete control of my projection reality with my higher dimensional light mind's transmission, emitting, okay, established signal within my own computer. I, at the same moment, I've disconnected them from my computer, blocked and filtered from never coming back to my so-called receiver computer processor that is unified with my projector. So I blocked and filtered them, but at the same moment, I've directed them to and synchronized them and connected them to all of their future, to their homes they've always had, their original singularity satellites. So the lower light beings may think they're connecting to myself. Nothing is connecting to myself no more. They're all going to their own houses of singularity houses satellites personified they may think they're still in my satellite but the greatest thing is they're not going to know this transition has happened because it happens like such a shift they think they connect to my satellite but no with my intent vision and awareness i know what i'm redirecting i am with my intent 
and awareness and vision with my intent, redirecting it to their satellites, establishing the link to their satellites. So stating instead, instead of them coming into my house that they think they're coming to my house, they're actually going to their, to their basic singularity satellite, parallel singularity light, higher light earths. So you see my brothers and sisters, I'm bringing everybody home to the best of my ability. How I stated, I'm going to do with many other singularity beings. I'm going to state this again. Everybody's at their satellite, whether they realize it or not. Soon, they will be all in their satellites. If not already, many beings are in their satellites. They are being directed and guided to their satellites. And from the, mo the moment on, when this signal is gone, yeah, by March, everybody's going to be understanding to a greater degree of the translations of the higher dimensional software and hardware translations of the wisdom and knowledge of source. Everybody will know one day, my brothers and sisters on this planet, that they're in their own satellites. This is the greatest thing. And there have been restored to a great degree. And what they do with that beyond that point is their choice. Very important, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to redo the translation of how the block, how the, how the splice breach is happening. Okay. It's not going to be done here in this video. I'm going to make another video showing the diagram because I don't want to hold the picture up and narrate. It's too hard for myself. I'd rather be with a pointer, with a light, with a dot narrating just with, just with my voice and translating this photo that I have, the diagram. Okay. Basically it shows, I have to explain it in the diagram. I'm not going to explain it here. Okay. So now you know how they're splicing your reality. Okay. It is a signal that you must block with your intent and calibration and clearing first establish clearing your, your, vessel being an energetic fields your sphere then you basically block their signal first and redirect their signal to their satellites with intent put station them in their singularity satellites with intent then you re-establish your synchronization of your singularity satellite higher light mind third eye with your projector that is in your mind, that is your computer, that is your projection environment, digital that you're seeing with intent, you reestablish the transmissions from the processing transmitter, from the processing transmitter with your intent, it being received to your projection. That is a different part of your computer digital projection that you see here as all the constructs. Okay. You must redirect this and calibrate it. And maintain it and sustain it for a while until you automate, auto, get it automated. You develop the technique of calibration, the technology, okay? And I've been doing this, my brothers and sisters, and it is, like I stated, they, they are overriding, basically interfering your mind, then taking your antennas, that is your transmitter receiver, the processing, and their signal is then, i got to show you the diagrams, okay? It's going to be much more potent when I describe it on a diagram and narrating with the light pen. Okay. This is your liberation. Okay. This is, you're going to have to do your work. There's no way around this. You want some peace and you're going to do your work or serene calmness, join your forkness, uh, reestablishing where there's going to be not much manipulations. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to continue on another video. Okay. The teleportation one, it's quite simple. I have time to explain here. Then I'll make another video stating the something like the hijack, how to correct the hijack of your reality, digital projection, something like that. Okay. The other one is integrating it once again with everything you've learned that works for yourself. Okay. Remember the okay, now the calibration and glaring bottom of your feet, solar plexus, mid chakra personified region and third eye top of the head, the perimeter infinitum expansion perimeter of your sphere, your singularity sphere. They're displacing you out, basically. You need to come in first thing with breath, sink in to your vessel, bring your displaced energetic being out of your vessel body, back into your body, vessel, light machine. Okay, as you bring it in, you're going to invert your energies. As you come in, boom, you invert your energies flowing in because they have them flowing out. That's why you're displaced out. You're out of your vessel. You bring your energetic being into your vessel, light machine with intent, S sink in, fuse yourself to your solar plexus, 
inverting the energetic fields in. It is like this, okay, simple, simple diagram. You sink in, sink in, retract all your energies, invert the energetic field, expand to your infinity expansion barrier perimeter with your energies conducting in and maintain that continuously with while maintaining it multitasking fine-tune and calibrate everything that needs to be fine-tuned any symptom and distress fine-tune and calibrate it with your intent of holding that construct so you sink in basically with the main focal point on the solar plexus region because you come in you close your perimeter once right from the outer perimeter to the inside that is completing the reversal then with intent you reverse that energetic field sphere so you sink in to the perimeter you close the perimeter this is the reversal also clean sweeping and calibrating you close it and then invert and you open up with singularity energetic field right to the perimeter as you come in though and sink in and close you take a moment with your third eye to calibrate as you bring it in you take a moment to calibrate it to the singularity energetic field resonance of the color of dark blue with a slight with a slight violet tint and a and a slight chromatic shimmer color you tune it first the sphere before you open it up calibrating your energetic singularity core correctly here at your mid solar mid light gate singularity mid light gate then you open it up so you sink in from your perimeter you close it calibrate it invert invert it closing it inverting it then calibrating it, amplifying the singularity energetic field then you open it up again doing another clean sweep modulation to singularity energetic fields then you hold maintain sustain that fine-tune anything else that needs to be fine-tuned symptom or distress amplify the energetic field while holding it every molecule and particle to your reality sphere construct you are teleporting yourself to the singularity light earth 3 with intent and any being any other being dark sphere caught in your vessel you are teleporting it with you to the singularity and stationing them to their singularity satellites you see you're doing your work maintaining it and holding it like this you should see your whole construct amplifying the energetic field just before you shift you should see a different like your perimeter being teleported to a different channel projection where there is a different environment around your whole sphere stating when you do this with intent being guided with a higher dimensional singularity being and i highly suggest marduk when you do this with your intent as the teleportation as i just stated and then the environment sort of you're powering up your sphere amplifying then all of a sudden around your perimeter it's like a different you vision and see with your intent the different dimensional field phase in of energies around your sphere stated you have just teleported your being and many other beings assisted them and stationed stationed them to their satellites in the singularity you have just teleported to the higher light earth three when i did this the first few times my ear ringing was 